Sunday. How is everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing well. It's about 7.30 a.m. And I'm actually running a tad late than when I wanted to leave the house, but it's okay. We're pushing forward. Um, you know, trying to really breathe and keep my anxiety in check because I'm trying something new today. And I figured, let me vlog it. And if this can help anyone out there, then hey, I'm all for it. You know, I'm one that I deal with the anxiety of the unknown. So no matter how many things I try to like plan for myself or whatever the case may be, my anxiety creeps up, you know, I get really bad. You know, anxiety, there's no other way of putting it, you know. I shouldn't do this and I shouldn't do that. And what about if this happens and that happens? And it's just so much. And I have to say, you know what? I prayed. I prayed this morning. I'm going to go. And I'm pushing forward. So, my thing is, uh, my Edge membership is coming up for renewal. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to renew it because I live about 20 minutes away from this particular, you know, gym. And it's the only one around that I like. So, I'm like, okay. So I said to myself, you know what, buddy? It's $22 a week. Why don't you just go at least once a week? And like that, it evens out to like $5 a week. And if you look at it that way, you're like, hmm, okay. So it has like stand online, you know, like machines and Zumba and classes. And it has that amazing massage chair that I need so much at least once a week. So I'm saying to myself, how can I do this? And I'm saying to myself, wow, I can do this Sunday mornings because the gym opens at 7, the kingdom hall starts at 9.30. So it gives me enough time to go to the gym, get myself tapped up at the gym, and then head over to the kingdom hall. So I'm like, wow, if I can pull this off, that's awesome. So I woke up this morning, I went to bed with that in mind. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, so of course this morning I wake up and my stomach is like in knots. And I'm like, okay, just breathe. We're great about it. We're going to move forward. This is a great idea. Because I'm all for self-love, self-care, you know. And this is part of my self-care and my self-love, you know. Get a good workout in. I'm that I don't have at home. And, you know, I get to use a massage chair and kind of just be out of my element. I get to get my thoughts together, you know, for the week. So it's like, it's a win-win situation for me. So I'm like, you know what, why not? So everyone's sleeping. This is like no one's time. You know, I'm not a mom or even a lie. This is, you know, my time, Maddie's time. And it, and it feels really, really good. So I'm like, you know what, yeah, let's go. So pushing forward, I'm excited from the looks of it because like I said, it's around 7.30. So I figure if I can get at least a good 20 25 minute workout on the elliptical but the one that goes like up and down i'll show you guys which is my favorite machine it's so expensive um the, the precor i think it's called or something like that so i want to go do at least 20 25 minutes of that i definitely want to sit for at least a 25 30 minute you know massage because i need it i feel it in my like my shoulders i have a pinched nerve in my lower back so it's like I'm a mess and mama bear needs it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna try it and see how it goes. Now, I definitely want it, and I'll talk to you guys more as the day goes on, because like, I'm planning to block kind of like my day. Um, to a certain point, um, I am back to fasting, and I'll go you know, a little bit into detail before I get to the gym. Um, so I have mentioned to you guys, you know, last week or midweek when we spoke, you know, that I was just, it's a disaster, guys, you know, and, and let's talk about this. You know, with me, um, you know, you guys know I've been on this journey for over six years. I've lost a hundred and something pounds, managed to keep it off. I'm playing with the last 40 pounds, and I know that, I know for facts. I know I have three main facts. You know, I know the fact that I dislike tracking my food. I really do. I did it for such a long time. And yes, it works. I'm not knocking it because it works. I lost a lot of weight with weight watchers at the beginning. You know, plus plus tracking, it works. After doing it for such a long time, I really dislike it. Like I can't stress it enough how much I really hate, and I'll say I use the word hate, 
is tracking my food. Um, when you tell me, Mari, you have a certain amount of points every day that you have to eat, and, and that doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for me. It creates such an anxiety mentally, like, oh my God, you have to eat this. And it's almost like restricting me, you know, like you can only have this and you can, that doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for me. Um, and it's not that I'm a rebel, you know, regarding this. It's just that's where I'm at mentally and I can't do that to myself. You know, I find myself like having to wake up and be like, okay, what am I going to eat? What am I going to use my points on? No, I can't do that. So I'm not going to do that at all. It gives me anxiety. I don't want to do it. Um, I have been, um, you know, talking to myself because that is so important, guys. Talk to yourself, you know, be real. Blow everything out online you know well, what's going on because that's really going to help you push forward so of course i'm talking to myself and i'm like okay Mari, so this is not gonna work it's not gonna work you know i track i do crazy things i manipulate the system because i don't i don't want to track you know and this is why i had chosen the blue program because it's less tracking but whatever so and this is why i love to do document my journey it just happened to be that a year ago on my timeline um a video came up when um, you know I was doing fasting you know I've been doing 19 hour fast I did last year and I did so amazingly and I lost so much weight and I felt amazingly you know with my health along with losing weight it was like a complete beautiful balance and that's where I need to go back to you know fasting works for me 19 hours works for me I usually eat twice a day I don't track I eat mindfully i know that nothing is off limits so i can have whatever i want as long as you know is mindfully and i know that and i'm okay with it so i have been fasting now this is my third day and i feel great actually this is my fourth day because i started thursday it's my fourth day today's sunday and i break fast um at 10 30 so i am doing 10 30 to 3 30. that window works for me guys and if you go back to my fasting videos that's my window of choice is enough for me to have my you know my brunch and then i have a feast you know whether whatever it is that i want to eat for dinner and i have my dessert and i have my snack and it works out perfectly i don't feel deprived i don't feel crazy i don't feel like <clears throat> excuse me i have to track anything it's like i eat twice a day and that's that and let me tell you it shows on the scale it's moving down i feel it in my inflammation because fasting does amazing things for my gut health and it's just you know that's what i'm gonna stick to you know i'm sticking to my fasting it's just where i'm at at this point in my life in, in my journey and accepting it you know i'm completely okay with it i am just pushing forward just pushing forward and it feels great so guys i'm almost at the gym this worked out great because it takes about 15 20 minutes to get over here it's not that much traffic because it's really really early and yeah so god willing i can get my workout in get my nice massage and i'll show you guys you know a little clips here and there and then um we'll chat later on so yes with that said have a wonderful morning and we'll see you in a little bit hi everyone so i'm on my way now to the grocery store i gotta pick up some cold cuts and a couple of things that are on sale today mm, it is the second and omg these groceries um places when you're grocery shopping they are like overpacked so I'm hopefully going to be in and out. I just need a couple things. Um, and yeah, pushing forward. But I definitely wanted to share with you guys today's sermon. You know, spoke about how to, when you give yourselves, you know, a goal. Um, to make sure that you follow it through, you know. Always, you know, involving, you know, God and asking for his Holy Spirit and asking for his guidance and asking him to give you the will and a desire
desire to finish whatever it is that you need to conquer and do and I was just like preach it because my soul needs it you know um it emphasized in in actually finishing what you start it is so important all the way around and you know with this weight loss journey with me I need to finish what I started and that was just another confirmation that is Jack God's like yep I'm watching you let's go along you know with other personal things that I have going on with my life you know as far as you know what I want to do you know in God and all that good stuff but as far as me you know as a person and the goals that I have you know to be healthy and get rid of this last 40 pounds and be the best person that I can be for me um definitely it hit home you know it hit home to where the closing prayer and I'm just like grateful and I'm, I'm thanking him in silence you know thank you for your mercy and understanding thank you for guiding me you know and just tears are shedding because it's that important you know with anything that you start you have to make sure you finish you know and it always says you know look at the you know the prize look at the prize look at the prize and keep pushing forward you know and it states ask him ask him for help you know and he's there and he would help and it was just amazing so yeah just wanted to share that with you guys um so on my way now, like I mentioned, I want to go to ShopRite. I want to pick up some cold cuts. Some things are on sale that I want to get. And then I kind of just want to go home. Um, I definitely want to take these nails off. They've been on for two weeks, and they actually feel like they can go on for longer. And these are the one, two, three go from Estrada. OMG. But now I have to figure out how to take them off their gel. So I think you soak them. I'm not sure, but that might be a different video on how to soak these bad boys out. But I tell you, they're they're there. They ain't coming out for nothing. Um, but I just I want a different shape. I actually have new products coming in from the line, so I kind of want to redo them, like all using Estrada products. So I want to get that done. I also have the Luminous Air Foundation that I wanted to try. I also have an Elf um, mask the one that's magnetic I want to try so there's a couple of things that I want to do there's just not enough time in the day it is 11 38 already you figure by the time I get home 12 30 then I have to make sure that everyone's okay I have to feed everyone I have to get you know um my feast together uh, because I want to end by four I started eating today at 11 so I'll give myself from 11 to four and I want to sit I also want to kind of enjoy a movie because I do work Monday through Friday. So there's a lot going on, you know, and it's just managing your time wisely. And I have to do that, you know, um, it's too much. You also don't want to overcrowd your day either, you know, so just kind of finding that balance. So yeah, so I hope everyone has a great day. Thank you for coming with me this morning. It was a huge success. And just pushing forward. So. This week I was up 1.2, but as of today, I was 224.6 or 0.5, I'll put it here. Four days fasting, I love it. No yo-yoing, no nonsense, and I really like it. So with that said, have an amazing week, God bless, and we will see you soon.